Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be discussing level one charging and I know I know what you're probably thinking level one who charges level one anyways it's so slow it takes hours sometimes days to get a full charge depending on the size of your battery but don't click off just yet I have an option today that might be actually pretty good when it comes to level one overnight charging um, simply because a lot of us um, perhaps live in places where we can't uh, connect a level two charger to get those faster speeds or we just don't want to spend the money because it could get very pricey if you want to do a full installation and hardwire everything or simply because you go on road trips and you stay in Airbnbs or at hotels that simply just have plugs outside and imagine just being able to use those plugs to charge up your car right so yeah, level one charging is not as interesting as level two and especially not DC fast charging level three. But today I'm looking at a very interesting product that was sent to me for review from a company called Dowler. And I think that this level one charger is the best of both worlds because not only is it a level one capable charger, but it is also a level two. And I'll explain how it all works. First, let's look at the most basic of the basic level one chargers that used to come with most EVs. So this one was provided to me by Kia when I bought my car almost two years ago. No, over two years ago now. And it's just basically a standard household plug, nothing special, and a J1772 connector on this side. Um, but the voltage on this is 120 and the amps that it maxes out on is 12. I'm going to do a little bit of a close-up of this here. So obviously this is something that is not ideal if you want to charge faster. And as the charging test will prove later in the video, you guys will see the biggest difference. Um, unfortunately, most of these things, they don't come with cars anymore. So you don't get a level one charger included with most vehicles. So then you have to be uh, thinking of getting something else. So this is where um, the other option that I have today comes into play. Before we're going to get into the charger itself, let's have a look at some of the accessories that come in the box. So first you have this very nice carrying case, but that's my first gripe though. It is a little bit too small to put it all back in. So you have to wind it really, really tightly, but you know, it's better than nothing, obviously. And then what do we have inside? We have uh, mounting hardware, which I'm not going to be using because mostly I'm just gonna keep it in the car because that's why I bought it. I wanna make sure that I have it with me. You have some uh, Velcro ties here and a quick start guide. So that's your Dowler EV charger carrying case plus accessories. So now let's have a look at the charger itself. This is the Dowler EV charger. And what makes this one special and better than the Kia that I just showed is that it gives you the best of both worlds. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, this is a NEMA 620 connector right here. So essentially what it does is it gives you both level one and level two charging options. Now you're probably wondering how can this get level one? The included adapter that comes with this charger is your standard household plug and all you have to do is just slip it in here and you're good to go so let's have a look at that you just slip it onto the 620 and then you have a standard household outlet right here now the 620s are not as common as of the, as the 1530s um, which are you know found in many many places but still it gives you that option if you ever do find a 620 nema and then of course on this side here we um, open this up Ooh, it's hard to do with one hand and it's your J1772 connector here um, and it's all very nice and then here on the back what else I like and I'm going to put a close-up is that you're getting a little bit of a light indicator what all the lights mean as well as the 240 volt AC 16 amp max charging that this charger can provide and the construction is really really good here's the LED light strip that turns on when we're doing the testing you guys will see and this button is used to power on the device as well and change some of the settings which I'm going to show you guys later all right but the proof is in the pudding as they say right so now that we've seen how both of them look and what the differences are now let's do charging tests so what I want to actually do is I want to do two different charging tests one at a location where um, there is a dedicated spot for charging 
and it was set up by a company. And then the other charging test I wanna do, just do on a standard household outlet that I have in my garage in the condo where I live. And then let's see what the speed differences will be and how everything works. So I'm excited to see how big of a difference or how small there is between these two level one chargers. So let's get to it then. Time to test out uh, the included charging solution from Kia. So we've got it all hooked up right here to this system. So this is a standard wall outlet, but it is provided by the company called Plugzio. So you need an app to start it, but it's completely free. So there's a few plugs around here that we can use. Um, but this one, the Kia one is just very standard, up to 12 amps, like I said, and it just shows you that it's charging. So nothing special here. So now let's have a look at inside of the vehicle and see what we are getting. So the car is off just to make sure that nothing is draining uh, excess battery power. So as you guys can see, the car is reporting 1.3 kilowatt. We're at 37% and it's gonna take us 40 hours and 10 minutes to get to a 100% charge. And here we go, a few more details. So we are pulling actual percentage around 1.03 and it fluctuates to 0 0.107 sometimes. So it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And actual amps is 2.9. And now we're on the Dowler EV charger. It's the same deal using the adapter, okay, from the NEMA 620 to a regular household plug, plugged into the same thing. And here we go. First big difference is the screen is telling us more information. So charging time, how many kilowatt hours, the temperature of the unit, how many amps we're pulling, how many volts. So this is good, good information to have. So now let's jump into the car and see what the actual speeds are. With the Dowler EV charger, we are now pulling 1.7 kilowatt as opposed to 1.3 which for some people it's not a huge difference but for me it is and the battery is going to be full in 30 hours and 40 minutes to 100. We are pulling about 3.8 to 3.9 amps well 3.8 I think it looks like that's the most here and the actual speed is 1.35 kilowatt. So as you guys can see previously we had 40 hours and 10 minutes so we have over 10 hours um, faster charging. Quick little update here. I think we are getting 3.9 now. <laughs> it's going up to 3.9. Took a little while to ramp up. Not sure why. Um, and we're getting almost 1.4 kilowatt straight into the battery. So 1.39. So that's good. I guess it does ramp up a little bit after you're, you, you know, you plug in. Here we are with the Kia once more. And this time we're testing the two level one chargers on a standard household plug. So the Kia charger is plugged in already. As you guys can see here, the max amps is 12 on this charger. And then obviously it is connected to the car right there. The light is on. That means we are charging. So let's hop inside and see what kind of speeds we're getting on this charger. The speed is identical to when we were charging at that public location, 1.3 kilowatt. And then here, let's see what we're getting actual. So actual is 0 0.95. Does it go? Oh yeah, it goes to one kilowatt, but there's a lot of fluctuations. So from 0.91 to one kilowatt, that's what we're getting. And then the amperage is 2.8. So again, the same. So it doesn't really matter if we're at a public location where I thought maybe they have slightly better infrastructure, um, but just on a standard household outlet that everybody has in their home, you're getting the same speeds. So now it will take us 47 hours and 10 minutes to go from 27% to a full charge on the Kia charger. And then now let's switch chargers, put in the one from Dowler and see if there's any improvement. But before we get started with the charging test, I just wanna show you guys, it says here, long press to enter settings. So all you have to do 
is press this and then you can just press once to switch between the two options so there's current switching and charging appointment so then if you want to go to current switching you just hold again and then you can change 6 amps 10 amps 13 amps or 16 amps so this is the maximum that it will try to take from the power source and or the capability of your car so if it's at 16 you just hold it setup has been completed right and then we can go back again and then charging appointment so this is basically if you arrive home but let's say your electricity rates start to be cheaper at nighttime you can set it to start charging in two hours four hours six hours eight hours it doesn't have exact charging times but this is pretty good so you can just set it hold it to set the eight hour mark and then it will count down eight hours before it starts charging and then you can hold it and confirm again to cancel out of it so that's pretty simple the settings are not intricate easy to use anyways let's get plugged in and see the speeds so we've plugged in now the led is cycling the, the little screen is also moving between different information panels all right same as like last time and of course we are using the standard outlet adapter that came with the whole package from the 620 NEMA to just a standard household. And of course, we are connected. And here's the handle, light is on. So now let's jump inside and see what kind of speeds we're getting. So in this instance, we're getting slightly, slightly less than we did at that public location. So we're getting 1.6 instead of 1.7. And then now, if we're looking at what car scanner is saying, we're getting actual speeds anywhere from 1.23 to 1.33 kilowatt. All right. So not bad. Again, much faster than what we were getting with the Kia charger that came with the car, which also reflects in the time left. So we have 36 hours and 50 minutes and uh yeah that's 10 hours or more or less 10 hours um faster than on the bog standard kia the level one charger that came with the car oh and by the way if you guys are wondering how i'm grabbing all of that data so i have an obd device right here and then it's connected to an android phone over there with an app called car scanner so all you have to do is just search on it in the play store or the app store for Apple and you can find it quite easily. And it's a great way to monitor what's going on with the vehicle, especially when you're driving electric and you, you need to know your thermals for optimal charging. And the OBD in question is in OBD link LX. I'll have uh, the a link to Amazon in the description if I can find an Amazon link, if not, then directly to their store. I think the Dowler uh, EV charger, perfect. It works for me. I've tested it extensively for a few weeks now. It has never failed me. So I think if you guys don't have one that came with the car, and a lot of new cars don't have those, I was lucky enough to buy a Kia that actually included a level one charger right off the factory floor or off the dealership, I would have to say. Um, so yeah, I got lucky with that one, but not many people are getting lucky with this, unfortunately. A lot of people are not getting those uh, chargers included. So. Um, spending a little bit of money getting something like this and putting it in your car is always good. So that's what I always say, an arsenal that uh, consists of uh, adapters, different charging solutions, you know, it, it's something that I know it's, it's a little bit complicated for new EV owners, but trust me, it will help you and you will enjoy owning a car that much more. Um, so yeah, that's it. I do recommend it. I think uh, you should, guys should check out the link in the description for all of the details regarding these chargers. Um, go have a look at them and see if this is something that would be useful for you. It definitely is useful for me. All right, thanks so much for watching. That's it for this one. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you liked the video, please like it, and I will see you on the next one. All right, take care, bye.